Bonjour, no time for a useless intro. Here are the changes concerning the racials. Almost every race has a resistance to one type of magic. And in each king, it reduces the chance of getting hit by a spell by 2%. So I'm just gonna put the LK version for practical reasons. Alright, let's start with humans. What did not change? Diplomacy. You still have 10% more gains of reputation. What changed? Instead of increasing the expertise with maces and swords by 5, it is now at 3. Instead of having 10% more spirit, it is now at 3. Perception has become a passive ratio that increases your stealth detection. It is no longer a 90% chance to spot stealth players. The main human ratio is a brand new novelty called every man for himself, which is basically a PvP trinket. So it allows humans to equip two trinkets for PvP. And when you see the number of insanely good trinkets there are over the expansion, that's when you realize that human is the best PvP race by far. Obviously you're gonna lose some resilience, but you can still compensate with gems and enchants. There is a shit ton of PvP players that would want to switch to human at Wrath. And it's fortunate, cause it's at Wrath of the Lich King where you can change your faction. Dwarf. What did not change? Find treasure. Displaying the nearby treasures on the minimap. 1% more crit with guns. And frost resistance. What changed? 5 more expertise with maces. Stone form. In TBC, it was removing and making you immune to all poison, bleed and disease effects for 8 seconds. Plus 10% more armor. In Lich King, it has been nerfed a lot. It only removes the effects one time. And since rogues poisons changed, it's not even that interesting. And increasing your armor by 10% for 8 seconds. 2 minutes cooldown. Night Elf. What did not change? Faster while being a ghost. You are actually a bit faster than in TBC, but it's not a big deal. And Nature Resistance. What changed? In TBC, it was dodge chance increased by 1%. And in Lich King, it reduces the chance that melee and ranged attackers will hit you by 2%, which is better. The major Night Elf ratio at the opposite of Dwarf has been really improved. In TBC, unusable in combat 10 seconds cooldown. It add its utility mainly to regen at the same time in a PvP situation, or to surprise your opponents in a battleground. But as it's supposed to be THE Night Elf ratio, it's dog shit. Probably the worst ratio of the expansion. In Niche King though, it is now usable in combat, with a 2 minutes cooldown, for obvious reasons. It's like a rogue vanish without the possibility of moving. You can use it to vanish a powerful spell to regen or whatever. Unfortunately, it does not reset the threats in PV. Still a really really good improvement for PvP. Concerning gnomes, it didn't change a lot. Still have 15 more engineering skills, 5% more intellect, arcane resistance, and escape artists. The only thing that changed is that this ratio is no longer in the GCD, and in PvP it can make a huge difference. Draenei. What did not change? 5 more jewel crafting skills and shadow resistance. What changed? Instead of increasing hit with only spells by 1%, it's now affecting both spells and physical attacks. Gift of the Naru has been improved. In TBC, there was a 1.5 second casting time, sensitive to pushback and interruptions. Plus, it was purgeable. In Wrath of the Lich King, it's an instant spell out of the GCD. Well, not exactly. The amount held is also increased by attack power. So if you play a warrior or hunter, your ratio would still be useful. Orcs. What did not change? Damage dealt by pets increased by 5%. What changed? X specialization takes into account fist weapons. Hardiness, instead of increasing chance to resist stun effects by 15%, it's reducing the duration by 15%, which is a big nerf and no longer related to RNG. Besides, the reducing healing effects by 50% from Blood Fury has been removed. It makes this ratio usable and good in arena. Undead, what did not change? Underwater breathe lasts longer than normal. 
cannibalize either corpse and regenerate 7% of total health every 2 seconds for 10 seconds. And shadow resistance. What changed? Will of the Forsaken has been incredibly nerfed. For good reason though. In GBC, it was broken as fuck. Provides immunity to charm, fear and sleep for 5 seconds. May also be used while already afflicted by these effects. However, in Lich King, like the Dwarf Racial, it only removes the effects once. The immunity buff has been removed. Plus, it has a 45 seconds cooldown shared with the PvP trinket. The only good thing about this change is that it's no longer in the global cooldown. Just looking on the bright side. Torrent. What did not change? Herbalism skills increased by 15. Nature resistance. War stomp works the same as in GBC. What changed? The 5% health buff has been nerfed. In GBC it was total health increased. Which means that if you have like, look at the screen, you will gain 5% of it. So 617. As you can see in this comparison of two warriors, Orc and Torrent. But in Lich King is just base health increased by 5%. So this ratio is not affected by your gear, talents and so on. As you can see in this comparison, it will always remain the same. Troll, what did not change? 5% more damage against beasts. 1% crit with throwing weapons and bows. Health regeneration rate increased by 10%. Plus 10% of total health regeneration may continue during combat. What changed? Brother King. In GBC, it was increasing your casting time and attack speed by 10% to 30% depending on your current HP. The less HP you have, the more haste you will gain. And in LK, it's 20% fixed, which is obviously better in PV and a bit better in PvP. That would do shuffle. A novelty that reduces the duration of all movement impairing effects by 15%. Blood Elf. What did not change? 10 more enchanting skills. What changed? In GBC, it was just all resistances increased by 5, which was pretty low. Now, it's 2% chance to resist every spell and it's better. Arcane Torrent. The mana tap thing has been deleted. It's silencing for 2 seconds and restores 6% of your mana. 15 energy or 15 running power. It's probably a bit less good for rogues since you could have been able to gain 30 energy while now it's fixed at 15. Alright, this is the end of this video, if you liked it or learned something, don't hesitate to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and follow me on my Twitch channel. Take care of yourself and see you soon, ciao!